Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Thursday, the 5th of January that you're seeing this. I'm recording it the day before that, but that's okay. Anyways, it's my brother's birthday today, so happy birthday. <laughs> I don't think he watches my videos, but uh, I wanted to hop on here today and show with you, share with you, I always say show with you, a bunch of finished objects. I think there's five that I have, five or six, and some happy mail that I got, some leftover Christmas cards, you know, that come trickling in after the holiday. But, uh, so I guess I'll do the happy mail first and then the Amber Grimmies. So, I'll try that. I hope I didn't mix these all up. I'll have to check. Because I just kind of pulled them out of the diary bag. Okay, this first card is from Sharon. And it's a glittery card. I don't know if you can see it. That's the card. And on her envelope, it's got a Grinch. Now, this doesn't even have postmark on it. Like, it's not stamped at all. Um, and I'm wondering if this is maybe from last year. Because of what she sent. <laughs> Uh, but it's got a bunch, uh, she sent a baggie in there that's got a bunch of the foam Grinch stickers. But also, if you can see them, there's the little charms. I've already used some of these. I already pulled out and used some of them for some ornaments that I made. There's some little 2022s and some little 2021s. And in her card, um, just let me read through it. She said that she, uh, she thought I would like... So on 2021 and 2022 charms, she said that she used them for her ornaments this year and will again in 2022. But 2022 just passed. So I'm wondering if this is like an old card that somehow got lost in the post office. Because like I said, it's not, it's not been stamped at all. That it's been through anywhere, you know? <laughs> Does that make sense? Uh, so I'm wondering if maybe this was sent last year and it just not got, got lost somewhere in a truck or something. Uh, but either way, I will still use the 2021s, even though that's far past, because two things. One, I made a bunch of ornaments, so what I'll do is, when I go to my sister's house, I'll snatch off her, the ones I made for in 2021, which I believe were gingerbread. <clears throat> I made her gingerbread house, and a gingerbread man. Uh, I don't know if that's all I made her, but I also made some myself, for myself that year, so I can sell them on there, and then I can also use them in my junk journaling for photos like if i put a photo in there from 2021 um which was the year that i was pregnant with june the majority of the year so i might you know if i junk journal about that i can put one of those on like a cute little string and hang it in the corner or something and then i'll use the 2022s on the stuff i made this year i already pulled out two of them and sold them onto two of the snowflakes that i made and showed recently uh one for me and one for my sister and then there are looks like there's one Two, three, four, five, six, seven. It looks like there's about eight more. I will use them on other things. And also I can use them in my junk journal as well. So they will get used. And I absolutely love the stickers. They're like foamy. Um, and they're Grinch. Oh, I'm going to try to stick on there. But they're just like, they're thicker. So these will definitely get used up in probably my junk, my Christmas junk journal. But also I might save some for next Christmas to put in uh, presents or swaps or something. I don't know. We'll see. But thanks, Sharon. Whether you sent it this year or last year, I got it. So, okay. all right. Is this the right card? This. Yes. Okay, this one is from Tamara. I have a cousin named Tamara. <laughs> but uh, this is a really pretty card, too. I love any of these, like, scenery cards. They're so pretty. So, thank you, Tamara. This is... Oh, this is from my friend Phyllis. She sent me some stickers. Um, oh, I already took the stickers out. Where are they? Okay, here they are. <laughs> this is the packaging. That was in them. But they're not remember for Christmas. Christmas stickers. Two sheets of them. So those will get used up as well. That is my receipt from the post office. And then these next two are from other countries. Which I got these two on the same day. Which I thought was really cool. So this first one is from Australia. And it's from Lista. Ooh, it's got stickers on it too. I forgot. And Coco. Her dog. <laughs> from Coco Crochet. Coco's Crochet. So there it is. I think it's cool that they have uh, Christmas in the summertime. It'd be kind of cool to experience that once, but then go back to normal, I think. That's the card. And then she sent some more foam stickers, which I thought was so funny. I got these ones first, actually. So here's three of them. And there's a koala bear in the stocking. And then there's a little elf and a fairy. And then there's a kangaroo. <laughs> So those are super cute. Those will get used for sure. And then this is a, another YouTuber who is, um, she's in the postcard. There's the front of it. <laughs> and it's Reggie from 
J Hook Crochet. And she lives in, I think, Jerusalem. I know it's the Holy Land, but I can't remember if that's Jerusalem or if that's just Israel. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not that good. But, um, the, you know, there's a note on the back of it and my address, but my address is public knowledge at this point. Um, uh, post office. But look at those stamps. And the little, these are the things I was talking about that wasn't on that one envelope. You know where they stamp them <laughs> when it comes to but those are so cool. So I'm definitely going to use this entire thing in my junk journal, I think. I don't want, you know, I'm going to have to figure out somehow. I might make one of those where you use washi tape to make it like a page. Because uh, I want to keep those stamps and the little stampy thingies. I don't know what those are called. But that's just so cool. This stamp is for the Concentration Camps Liberation. 75 years. And then the other two flowers. Yeah, it says Israel. So it was, it is Israel. I wonder how much money that costed, though. Because this one has a 1 on it, this one has a 40, and this one has a big 8 and a little 3, uh, 0. I hope it didn't cost too much to send. <laughs> but I mean, it's going to go all the way from the Middle East all the way over an ocean <laughs> to me in Tennessee. So that's pretty cool. Anyways, that's the happy mail that I got recently. Yeah, I picked that up the last few days. But now on to the finished object. So I got this cute little minion reasonable bag here <laughs> that I think I stole from my sister. I think she gave me stuff in it once and I never gave it back. But I made the fish that I mentioned in another video, or was that this one? <laughs> to raise money for um, aquarium tickets, the membership, the yearly membership. I've been using this book from all of that stringy ding ding. I'll link it below if you want to check it out. Uh, these patterns are so quick and easy. They're super easy and they, they just, they're fast. Because I started making, okay, I showed you the seahorse already. I finished it in December still. Like, I think it was last day of December. Uh, and I used those eyes my sister made. It's so cute. So that will eventually be in the shop. And then, uh, I'm trying to work. Okay, I made this one January 1st. It's a pink squid. <laughs> I think it's so cute. It's just a pink squid. Love that. And then, let's see here. On the 2nd. I made this fish. It's just a blue fish. It's got a little bit of fuzz on it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I just made a two shade of blue fish. I think it's cute. It's got a little top fin. And then on the third, yesterday, <laughs> yesterday I made three. Well, it's yesterday from where I'm filming this. You're seeing this on the fifth. But first I made the clownfish yesterday, earlier, early morning-ish. I started the clownfish. He is adorable. And then I made this octopus. I thought I had enough of this color and then I ran out. I only had like a little tiny ball left. I knew it was enough to make the tentacles. So I just grabbed the purple color and made the tentacles. I think he's cute. <laughs> and then uh, still on the third, I ended up making this one too, the turtle. <laughs> I finished him uh, at the night time. I'm still debating on whether to put a mouth on him and possibly eyelashes. Um, but I don't know because, you know, I don't know who's going to end up with it. So I don't want to make it, you know, different than... And I went ahead and crocheted the legs into it. She has where you sew it on afterwards. But I just, while I was crocheting it along, I crocheted the legs into the body. And then I just had to sew the head on. But, uh, yeah. So, and then the day that I'm recording this, I'm working on another octopus. I just recorded my Whip Wednesday. So, I'm going to make another octopus and potentially something else. But So, I'm making a whole bunch of little fishes. Sea creatures, I guess. Because I don't know if they're all considered fish. Well, I know the turtle's not a fish. <laughs> making all these for uh, to raise money for the aquarium membership. I keep wanting to say the zoo. <laughs> but um, I think they're cute. I'm keeping them all in this bag so that they stay clean. Even though Jesse's already one. He's asked me to make him a couple. <laughs> but I'm trying to focus on making just a bunch up right now to put in the shop to raise money for that. I keep saying that like a thousand times. But I'm just, you know. So I will link this below if you want to check it out. And uh, yeah, I'm going to finish up that little octopus today. And start on something else. I don't I don't know if I want to make. I kind of want to make another squid. Because it was a lot of fun to make. Get to the page over here. <clears throat> I, liked, I really liked the squid. And um, I don't know. I've made him before too. I liked making the clownfish. So I might make another one. I liked making the seahorse. So I might make some more of those too. The turtle turned out way bigger than I thought it was going to come out. I made it before and it turned out smaller, but I did used to always use a smaller hook. I've just been using the, the G hook lately just because it's been, I don't know, easier, I guess. 
The jellyfishes would be cute to make a few of those, but they, they're pretty small. I've never made the dolphin. I should make the dolphin. But I'm just going to make up a bunch of them over the next couple of weeks and then put them all in the shop at one time. And then that way if someone wants to purchase more than one of them, they can. Um, I'm also wanting to work on soon writing up some of my patterns that I have in my brain. <laughs> the ballerina mouse uh, keychain that I made recently in December. I want to write it up. Uh, and I also want to make a larger version of that to be like an actual amigurumi size toy <laughs> instead of a keychain. Um, yeah. And also got a few other patterns up my sleeve that I would like to wrap. But, you know, I don't know if I'm going to have the time <laughs> with the baby and all that. But that is what I'm doing today. I just wanted to show you the, all those fish I finished. I'll leave that um, book link below if you want to check it out. I'll also leave Reggie's and Litza's uh, channel below. It's J Hook Crochet and Coco's Crochet. Coco's her dog. <laughs> and I will see you guys in another video. Bye, guys.